What's up, everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to a vlog video. And normally, when I do my vlog videos over here on my Go Burns Vlogs channel, I usually like to sit in front of a webcam and you know do it that way. But I I just don't feel like it. I just feel like you know getting in a car and driving around Grand Theft Auto Online. And I keep meaning to make a video for my political channel regarding what's been transpiring the past few weeks, you know, all the attacks and the shootings and the protesting. And, I mean, I've, I've made videos about the issues that have been happening before. And it just feels like over the past few weeks, it's just getting really, really nasty in my country. I mean, I realize we have our flaws. We have issues. We have good cops. We have bad cops. We have people who have had their rights violated and you know you always have to judge these instance these incidences on a case by case ba basis and that's the way I look at it you know sometimes the police are justified and sometimes they're not and un unfortunately i feared that this would happen that eventually enough of these instances would occur enough people would be mad about it and with enough protesting going on Sooner or later, as this continued to escalate and deteriorate, you would get some out there who would decide to take matters into their own hands, who would simply do more than protest. Because protesting is, you know, a First Amendment right in this country. We have a right to free speech. We have a right to protest. And so what happened in Dallas with those police officers being murdered was wrong and what happened earlier today in Baton Rouge was wrong and I feel a personal connection with Baton Rouge because I used to live there I was there for about three years of my life back when I was in radio I was a DJ for a rock station there and also was a DJ briefly for an alternative rock station in Baton Rouge between 2003 and 2006 and so I have a connection, a bond with that town. I mean, I made friends there. You know, I had some experiences there. Uh, I even lived through Katrina in uh, 2005 when it hit New Orleans. It also affected Baton Rouge. So I feel a personal touch when it comes to uh, the city and the people of Baton Rouge. And with the uh, tragedy that happened uh, a few weeks prior, and whether or not that's going to turn out to be uh, justified or unjustified will remain to be seen. I'm hoping that the investigation will be thorough, will be non-biased, and whatever the ruling is, whatever the outcome is, you know, that will be the way it's supposed to be, you know, justice-wise. Ah, crap, I'm falling down a hill. Hold on, hold on, sorry. I'm just driving here. I'm just trying to get my mind off shit. It's one of the reasons why I don't really care much for politics anymore or, or put as much sh shit on my uh, political channel because you know a lot of this stuff just tears me up it just burns me especially with the political divisiveness in this country you know Republicans versus Democrats and all these other factions you know as we tear each other further and further apart it just breaks my heart and what I really want is people to actually come together what I don't want is people to work together to find common ground and stop this name calling, blaming each other, demonizing one another, because that doesn't solve anything. It doesn't. And you know something? Killing cops does not solve anything either. It doesn't accomplish a damn thing. I know some people are saying, well, you're playing Grand Theft Auto Online. It's one of the most violent games. Yes, but this is a video game. Okay? Violence, yes, exists in a video game, a work of fiction. Violence exists in TV shows and movies and books and comic books and graphic novels. That's works of fiction. I'm talking about real life here. Okay? If anything, games like Grand Theft Auto, to me, are a mental punching bag when I'm having a really bad day. When I'm having a pissed off day and I'm mad at the world, you know, so many times over the years, ever since my teens, 20s, up into my 30s now, you know, I can thank games like Grand Theft Auto for giving me a place to go to vent. Because in this world, it's not real. And I know it's not real. 
So people that call for, you know, boycotting violent video games or, or boycotting people having the right to bear arms in this country are completely missing the point. It's, it's not the video game. It's not a, a weapon, an inanimate object. It's a person. And it's their heart. And it's what they do. The decisions they make. Because you look what happened in France with that terrorist attack. Uh, he used a, a big giant truck to kill a whole bunch of people. I mean, yeah, he had other weapons as well, but in the end, the issue is the heart. It's dealing with this hatred, whether it's you know radical Islam or, or racism or or any form of hatredism. You know, doesn't matter because you know the way I look at it is most of the people in this world, I believe, are good people. At least I sincerely want to believe that. It doesn't matter what you are, what your religious belief happens to be or what the pigment of your skin happens to be, or what country you happen to be from. And I, I believe the same thing when it comes to law enforcement, because I have friends and family in law enforcement, and a lot of them are really good people. Now, not all cops are good, and there's obviously bad cops, but there's obviously good cops. And we can't just go lumping groups together. You can't say all whites are racist, all blacks are bad, all Muslims are terrorists. That's bullshit. That's not the world I want to live in. I want to live in a world where we're judged on an individual by individual basis, where we each have an opportunity to be the person that, that we want to be. And I think most people, if given a chance, want to be good people. And unfortunately, there's a lot of bad stuff in the world. There's a lot of bad stuff. You know, you got a lot of inequality, you got unemployment, you got other issues. And, and wars and famine and death and disease, you know, things that have plagued humanity for a long time now. And I just hate to see what happened in Dallas as well as Baton Rouge. And what we really need is we don't need to be killing each other. We don't need to be doing that shit. We don't need to be attacking or fighting, raping, murdering each other because... You know, if, we, if this continues, and, and this is my fear, if we continue seeing more cops killed across the country and we see more innocent people killed across the country and it continues to escalate, then it's not going to end well for any of us. So, in conclusion, I just want to say this. I mean, my thoughts and prayers are with all the people affected, you know, and all these issues that I just brought up. You know, because, you know, they're good people, they're bad people. And it's a shame that we haven't gotten to a point where I feel like we could be a true civilized society. I mean, we're more civilized than, I guess, in the past to varying degrees. But, I mean, and it could be because I'm just a sci-fi geek nerd Star Trek fan that I would love to one day get to the point where we as a, a people could actually look past these differences that we all happen to have. Oh, they're, they're black, they're white, they're short, they're tall, they're fat, they're skinny, they're uh, religious, they're non-religious. They have blue eyes or brown eyes or hazel eyes. I mean, who fucking cares? I mean, really, we're all human beings. We're all members of the same species. <laughs> it just it makes me sick when I see that shit. I just wish people would get over that crap. I really wish, because... It doesn't do any of us any good to have this racism, this hatred, you know, whether it's, you know, based on, you know, one's race or one's religion or whatever. It's just, you know, we all live on the same blue ball together. We all, you know, have, you know, the sun, which provides us with life along with oxygen and water and food. And, you know, we have a lot more in common than, than differences. And... That's just what I hope for. I mean, that's one reason why I don't really do as many political videos as I used to on my other channel. Because most of the time I feel like I'm just a madman screaming in the wind. You know, calling for unity, calling for people to stop fighting each other and all that crap. And just try and find ways for us to work together, to find peace. I don't know. I mean, it probably won't ever happen in, in this lifetime. And if uh, reincarnation is a thing, which is something I believe in, maybe I'll see it in the next in the next lifetime or two. But anyways, I just wanted to, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to vent. And once again, I thank all of you for, uh, you know, taking the time to listen to this vlog. And uh, most of my vlogs usually are not as serious. They usually 
just, I mean, I, I try to mix it up a little bit, and I still haven't done as many vlogs as I want to do. Plus, I've been kind of sick this past week, getting over the sore throat and a, you know, slight uh, fever and coughing still. But anyways, all right, so all my viewers and subscribers and fans, just want to let you know, coming up tomorrow, we're going to do some Red Dead Redemption multiplayer poker <laughs> on the Xbox One. So that is coming up tomorrow, along with probably a Mafia 3 video. But uh, anyways, thank you all once again for everything you guys do for my channel. You guys are the best subscribers ever. I love you all. I don't give a shit what the pigment of your skin happens to be. I don't care about any of that crap. You guys are awesome. And, you know, I hope you guys realize that, that I don't care about that, that kind of thing. That's just not something that really interests me. What I care about is, is who you are, you know, as a person, as an individual. And I have fans all over the world. I got fans in America. I got fans in London and the UK. I got fans in Europe. I got fans in the Middle East. I got fans all over the world. And that's one thing that, that's very humbling about the channel. You know, both my channels, the smaller channel, my Goldbergs Vlogs channel, where I do vlogs and my Rockstar Editor vids. I need to do a new one of those as well, as well as the big channel, you know. Well, big to me. I got over 1,500 subscribers now over on the other channels. So you guys are awesome. And you guys continue to inspire me to continue doing what I'm doing. And I truly believe that most of my subscribers feel the same way I do about these issues. I mean, I don't expect you to agree 100% with me ever. But I, I think that the majority of the human race, all 7, 8 billion of us, you know, most of us are good people who just want to live and let live. We don't want to hurt anybody. We don't want to be harmed by anybody. We don't, I mean, but there's always going to be bad apples among the bunch, uh, you know, among the bunch, I just, I'm having trouble talking today, but anyways, I, I've rambled enough, and, you know, once again, you know, because of how significant Baton Rouge is to me as a person, like I said, I spent three years working there in Baton Rouge on a rock station, FYI, if you're curious, the old uh, Rock 93.7, back when it was uh, KOJ, and then, of course, uh, 104 The X, uh, briefly in uh, the fall of uh, 2005, well, summer going into the fall of 2005, so if you were wondering, in case you are in Baton Rouge, you know, I feel you. I really do. So anyways, I hope we can get past this not only as a country, but as a planet and as a people. We can find a way to, to bury this hatred, to bring an end to it. And maybe one day, somewhere down the road, we can all live together on this beautiful world in peace.